I'm here with the event director, Matthew Meehan. Just to recap on the last three days, Matthew, and wrap up the show. Yeah, really busy, pack full of great stuff, three days that we've had. Well, I know I've certainly been busy doing all the Glean New product stuff, and then <laughs> yep. today with Floral Thursday, where we broke the world record. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> but what's been your highlight of the show? Oh, the highlight of the show, I think you've, you've said about the new products. I think seeing so many new products again always kind of gives you a, a lift, uh, anticipation for what, what's going to be seen around the rest of the show. Yes. I think the other part also is around the uh, the, the atrium as well with yes. the um, with the talent store launching this year. Yeah. Looking at all the great talented um, retail uh, team members coming on site. That yep. was great. And then fire grill and chill as well, adding the depth. It really had that festival feel that we were trying yeah. to create and and um, you know deliver. And I think we did that. I think there's been a great atmosphere out in Green Heart as a result of that. The plants at the heart of Glee, really, isn't it? It's been, been it excellent. Is. Yeah. The green element to the show is so important to yes. us. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it's an area that we want to continue to develop, but with a clear message. Yes. And I think the talent store lands that message in a practical way, especially around um, having the theme around house plant, outdoor plant area, yeah. and how you can think about merchandising those areas, but to see those team members learn and develop over six months and yes. deliver that as their yeah. finale yeah. was a real highlight for me. I mean, I've spoken to a lot of garden centres that I've bumped into and, and been with uh, during the show, and they've all been very pleased with what they've seen at Glee this year. And by the sounds of it, they've been placing orders as well because there's a few exhibitors have take, you know taking sizable orders by the, you know from what I've heard. Really positive to hear. I think our team have been around the show talking to the exhibitors, and I think the level of quality that's been here, of quality of of the retailers yes, that have attended, yeah, yeah. and also the positivity around um, looking at um, ranging for next year. Oh, yes, um, but it's just the amount of newness here that I think is incredible. I've seen certain retailers here for three days walking the aisles yes. um, and so much to see. I mean we've had um, over 400 exhibitors this year. I think we're up in the region about 20, 25 to 30 exhibitors this year. Yeah. So a bit more for them to see. Yes. So yeah. um, again pleasing. Yeah. And, and the other thing I've been quite impressed with today and I, maybe it's a bit apocryphal is that actually it just seems busier for the last day of Glee it seemed busier than normal. Yeah. Uh, to the extent where uh, Paul and I were going around trying to take team photographs for Garden for Floral Thursday, mm. and we couldn't do it because people were busy. <laughs> yeah. had, you know, they were selling and got customers on their stand Great. for long periods of time. Yeah, so it's yeah. what we want to hear. We yeah. want to make sure that the buyers are maximising their time at the show. Yeah. Um, and that's why, you know, we have a layout I think that's more conducive to shopping, and um, it takes a while to get round the show. Yes. And I think that's why, you know, certain buyers you know, they'll, they'll get to certain places in the end. That's why I think today, so many of the buyers are picking up maybe from yesterday, also coming for the first time yes. yesterday, yeah. doing all those last minute bits and pieces before they head off home. So, and we're all set for next year, Matthew. The dates for 2024 are? Yeah, the dates for 2024 are 25th to 27th of June. So, Good. same time. We're starting to get used to Glee being in June. Yes, absolutely. Directly after the, the key part of the season, so everybody can come and buy it while it's fresh in their mind. Yeah, absolutely. Talking to um, a few, quite a lot of the retailers that I've met here, um, it's a real opportunity here to, to find those products and think about how they're going to range them. So coming away from the show, thinking about the range and plans for next year yes. and making those key decisive decisions over the next three, four, five weeks. Yes. So they're ready then in preparation uh, later in the year for Christmas, yeah, which is yeah. such a key time for, for garden retailers. Absolutely, absolutely. So, well, Matthew, we can take a deep breath. We've only got a few more minutes while the show's open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we can go through the madness that, break, that is breakdown. <laughs> absolutely, yeah, breakdown next. But uh, it's such a shame to see some of this uh, show dismantle now because, uh, as I say, the, the actual look and feel with the new branding as well yes, um, yeah. really created lovely colour around here. Add to that Floral Thursday and uh, just heightens it. Well, I think my shirt almost matches the Glee branding, doesn't it? <laughs> it certainly does. I've got as many colours in as I could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've done well with a the shirt there, Trevor. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Thank no. you very much. Thank you for giving us a great Glee. No problem at all. Thank See you, you Trevor, for supporting us. Thank you.